Good morning, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. This is my daily message for Wednesday, May 20th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content is available at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. My scripture today is from the 43rd chapter of the prophet Isaiah, beginning with verse 19. The word of God, I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This is the word of the Lord. We're excited when we hear that God is going to do a new thing. It energizes us. But in our daily lives, the implementation of new things is often something we chafe against and rebel against because we don't like to leave our comfort zones. But God is relentless, and we are going to see many changes. Now, some of them we don't welcome, but many of them will be a blessing to us and will allow us to move in new directions and seek new purposes and find new ways to witness the love of Jesus Christ. Why, did you know that when pianos and organs were first introduced into worship, they were roundly denounced, as were the beautiful old hymns that we now consider our legacy. When they were first introduced, they were thought to be instruments of the devil, and yet how we cherish them today. In fact, whenever we move out of our comfort zones, even if we don't welcome it, invariably there is a beautiful blessing that we haven't anticipated. God is relentless. God will always be doing new things. And we are his children and we will find new ways to love him, to praise him, even as he is always finding new ways to bless us. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that you are always seeking the new and you are always exposing us to beautiful blessings that are very often beyond our comfort zone. Bless us in this uncertain time and remind us that along with many things we do not welcome, there will be abundant blessings as you once again will do a new thing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.